I've always had a passion for the ocean. Growing up just up the road here in Taruna, I had easy access to the banks of the Derwent River. So spending my days either on, in or under the water, um, in particular recreationally fishing, I always had a drive and a passion to actually find out more. So a couple of the most important things to understand about recreational fishing is one, what is being caught and how much effort is going in. And this is different to commercial fishing where they have to report everything they do. Being a, a recreational activity, we don't want to have that kind of imposition on the fishers. So we require them to help us out by providing information on what they're catching so we can do survey work, sampling work and actually provide information back to the managers so they know what's going on. So in Tasmania we have the opportunity to catch some amazing fish species, but we have a responsibility as recreational fishers to make sure we're doing the right thing when we're engaging with them. And obviously if the fish are going back in the water, we need to make sure that they're actually surviving that experience. Now up until recently, it's been very difficult to, to work out how to do that. How do you monitor when you throw a fish back in the water what it does? With advances in technology, we're now using satellite tags and acoustic tags. It provides information on where they're going and what they're doing and whether they actually survive. And not only is that information really interesting, but it's also used by the managers to decide how they're going to regulate the fisheries to provide sustainable fishing into the future. One of the key elements for success in our recreational fishing research is working in with the recreational fishing community. We get the opportunity to work with some really interesting characters, but also some really cool kids that actually remind me of myself when I was young. Because getting that key message of sustainability foster through the fishery, we need to engage those young people. So it's a really rewarding experience for us to be able to get them out helping us with the science, but also potentially creating career paths for them into the future.